This is Born Strategist, and in this video, I'm going to be asking, as well as answering, the following question. Why is blind favoritism bad? Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because, well, for those of you that are unfamiliar, Destiny has a lot of biased fans, meaning that people that are willing to overlook all of its issues, all of its problems, and just say, you know what, this is the greatest game ever, and I don't give a shit what the hell anyone says. And I'm here to tell you right here and right now, that is a terrible mindset to have. And the reason for that is simple, is that you don't have the ability to think logically or objectively, and it's going to cloud your judgment, and you're going to make very bad decisions as a result of that. Now, this isn't something new. Humans are very, you know, illogical, very emotional. You know, they don't always think, they don't always do the things that they should. And as a result, they cause a lot of problems in society. Think about it. Why is it that we live in the era of microtransactions or, you know, DLCs or expansion passes or whatever it is you could think of? And the reason for that is simple because people keep buying it. Now, it wouldn't necessarily be a big problem if it wasn't so prevalent as it is today. And the reason why it is, is because, like I said, people keep buying it. And the more that people keep buying it, the worse the problem's going to get. Now, eventually, it's probably going to reach a point to where maybe the government has to step in and start regulating this sort of thing, which is something I hope happens. But I wouldn't want the government to run it because they're corrupt and you couldn't trust them anyway. So you probably have to have a civilian organization, one that I wouldn't mind actually help create, to monitor this sort of thing and prevent corporations from overcharging consumers. Now, the reason why I say that is because, just in case you guys don't know, I'm an advocate of consumer rights, meaning that I'm here to protect your interests. I'm here to protect your wallets, and I'm here to prevent corporations from taking advantage of you. Why? Because I, too, am a consumer. Now, this is an issue that I think really does need to be addressed because this whole mindset of, well, if you don't like Destiny, don't play Destiny. And when people say that, you know, we get it. You like Destiny. But at the same time, you have to acknowledge the fact that the people that are complaining about Destiny probably like it more so than you do. And the reason why is because they see a lot of potential in Destiny and they're trying to make Destiny better to where you have become content with crap. Okay. Now, you're probably going like, what the hell are you talking about? I love fucking Destiny. I love it to the point where I won't acknowledge its weaknesses. Well, the reason why that's a problem is because by not acknowledging those weaknesses, you are not helping make the game better in the future. However, people that do criticize Destiny, such as myself, are attempting to make it better so that we acknowledge those problems in the future and we get rid of those problems once again in the future. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because anytime I see someone posting up a question about the potential future of Destiny, whether they would like to see this or that or the other thing, it's usually met with blind favoritism, meaning blind, irrational hatred to anyone that questions the practices of Bungie, and for that very reason, it pisses me off. And it pisses me off because I'm tired of seeing this stupid shit. I am tired of seeing ignorant idiots talk about particular topics that they shouldn't talk about. See, here's the thing. When people sit here and say, Destiny's great and nothing needs to change. You know, I like it the way it is, so shut the hell up. It's generally due to the fact that they're comfortable with things the way they are and they don't want them to change. I mean, they don't want them to get worse and they don't want them to get better. And they're comfortable with the things as they are. Now, that's a problem because that means that you are content with crap. You're content with mediocrity. And that's a problem because... If it was to be your way all the time, things would never get better, things would never get worse. And trust me when I say, I want things to get better, not worse. But this is going to cause a problem if people like this continue to get their way. See, here's the reason why we haven't gone and progressed as much as we should as a species because of mindset such as this. Simply put, mindset such as this ignorant, irrational, illogical, emotional beings such as this, slow progression. Okay? Now, I'm not going to go on a you know political tangent or something like that because I hate politics, and for the most part, it's a fucking waste of time. And I'm not going to go ahead and dive into that. But I will say that very ignorant people have a tendency to slow progression of human society. 
and that slows down a lot of potential opportunities that our species could have in the future. We should be at the point, at least in my mind, to where we have the ability to travel pretty often to various plants to consume resources or gather resources or to colonize and terraform or whatever it may be. Maybe cancer shouldn't be as big of a problem as it is now or whatever it is. We should be at the point technologically to where we don't have as many problems as we do. But yet these problems persist because people allow them to. And the reason for that is because people don't question authority. Think about it. Why do you pay so much in taxes? Because you don't question authority. Why do you have to pay so much in mortgage? Because people don't question authority. Why do you have to pay outrageous game prices? Because people don't question authority. It's a never-ending problem because people refuse to question it. Now, I'm here to tell you right here and right now, you need to start questioning things. Okay. Now, I'm not saying that everyone that's listening to this commentary is part of the problem because I doubt that every single person is because I know they're not. But the thing is, is that a significant portion of people are listening to this commentary and taking offense to this when that is not the desired effect. I'm just being very brutally honest with you and I'm telling you right here and right now that if you are one of those individuals that's not contributing, that's not questioning, that's not helping, okay, you need to start. And the reason being is because whether you like to admit it or not, this is going to affect you in some way, shape, or form later on down the line. And there's no better time to start than now. So if you have gripes with destiny, if you have issues with destiny, you better start talking. And if you don't have gripes with destiny and you're content with things the way they are, then by all means, go ahead and keep supporting it because then these problems are going to continue to persist. Now, I'm not telling you not to buy it. Go ahead and enjoy yourselves. If you want to go ahead and spend $30 on the Rise of Iron, by all means, go right ahead and do so, okay? I'm not going to sit here and tell you don't buy something you actually like to play. I'm going to tell you go ahead and buy it. Go ahead and enjoy it. Have a fucking fun time. And I'm not sitting here and saying that I'm not going to go ahead and get it. I haven't decided, and even if I do get it, it doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to be purchasing it myself. But the point is, is that I do have to cover these things, and I do have to talk about these particular topics of conversation. Why? Because it's relevant to you, the consumer. But the point is, is that there are other ways to go about this, and there's other ways to see things change. You don't necessarily have to stop supporting Destiny or supporting Bungie because you know you want to see another Destiny game in the future. And maybe the next Destiny game will go ahead and make good on some of those promises that they never delivered on with the first game, or maybe they'll go ahead and acknowledge some of the issues of the first game and fix those particular problems. Now, if that's the case, great. You know, it works out for everybody. But if you don't like the way things are, but yet you want to go ahead and play Destiny or Rise of Iron or whatever it is you're going to be purchasing next, then go ahead and enjoy yourself. But what I'm telling you is, is that there's a particular problem and it needs to be addressed. Make sure you address it because sometimes it doesn't mean that you have to go ahead and pull your pre-orders. It doesn't mean that you don't have to support them. Sometimes all you have to do is just go ahead and complain. Maybe just go ahead and put up a little post in the forum saying why in an articulate fashion, mind you why you're having problems with destiny and what you would like to see change and do it in a logical rational objective manner because then you're going to grab more attention than just being extremely angry or loud and obnoxious okay although sometimes that does work i must admit uh especially with other people out there that have made successful youtube channels off of doing that very same thing and that's not what i'm tempting to do here Although I must admit, this is a little bit of a frustrating topic for me because I see so many people that are very biased, okay? And they just refuse, refuse to think outside the box or think logically or be objective, and it's a huge problem. Think about it. How many times have you gone to a forum and seen someone post up in the forum saying, for all you Destiny haters out there, go ahead and fuck yourselves, or whatever it may be, right? You've seen that probably pretty often, whether it be on Reddit, on a Bungie forum, or someplace. You know, you've heard that somewhere, some way, somehow, okay? And every time you hear that, I want you to acknowledge that person for what they are, which is a biased, illogical idiot. They're just ignorant. They don't know any better. And maybe with some time and with some reasonable explanation, they'll go ahead and understand the error of their ways and maybe start to learn to think objectively and think logically. And that's the best you could hope for. But the point of this commentary is to let you guys know that don't let your biased subjective preferences cloud your judgment because it's going to cause a lot of problems for you in one way or another. With that said, thanks for watching. For more objective reviews, strategy guides, 
commentaries, and more. Stay tuned to this channel.